This old friend served me well for a lot of years, but about a year ago I got decommissioned and sort of been sitting out in the scrap pile. I've been lost a lot of space since I built my new hothouse, an entire bed, so I need to build up my growing room again. So I'm thinking the bucket on this has a big future. Right, so I've taken the, the actual tub off the wheelbarrow. So it's a poly tub, UV stabilized, so it'll last a long time. So effectively, it's sort of like a huge pot. It's gonna need a lot of drainage and I'm gonna try and keep it level when the time comes. So the lowest point um, isn't really gonna be that big a deal, but I just wanna have a lot of holes across it. So basically, I'm just gonna do that with a drill. Okay, so you sort of get the idea. I need a lot of holes and I'll get those in so we've got some good drainage and then we'll set it up. Beth here is demonstrating the spot where I'm gonna be putting this wheelbarrow tub. Um, it sits between a couple of peaches. So obviously the plan for this will be things that are more shade tolerant. Um, so leafy greens, things like that during the season. But if we can get Beth to move, we'll get to work. You ready to get out of the way? Come on, out the way. In the spot itself, I've actually popped a couple of bricks which will help create the level of the pot and give it some clearance underneath. I think that'll help with the drainage. I'm not gonna do much with pulling out all these snowdrops out of um, the area. They're gonna spread themselves anyway. It's a bit too late, so I may as well just sit the pot on top. Okay, the tub's in. We've got uh, the bricks up at the other end, just giving it that support to create the level. I haven't get out at spirit level or anything like that. I don't think I need to be that accurate, but the reality is it's ready to go. I'll just show you the holes in the sec that I've drilled in the base. And the next step will be to think about what we're putting in here. So I'm gonna use some soil that I've excavated out of my berry bed project, mix it with some good compost, and we'll see what we end up with. So here you are, the base of the tub has had quite a few holes drilled into it to create some drainage. Now keep in mind that I'm going to be keeping quite water hungry crops in here, leafy greens, things like that. So I'm not really too concerned about a high level of drainage. So basically now the bed's full, it's got some compost mixed through there. This soil as I said has been sitting in a berry bed for a couple of years, it's pretty dry and it'll need a lot of building up, but that's what we've got Auden to do. So we're going to start, give it a good going over with uh, blood and bone, or I think it's called bone meal um, in a lot of other countries. Going to scratch that in a little bit. Now for a little bit of magnesium sulfate, Epsom salts. Some base potash. Fair bit of that. And now, going to cover it up with some mulch and water it in. Bit of advice, neat potash on your hand. Can sting a bit, I never remember that. This is just bagged mulch made of a lot of different stuff. This stuff here is um, shredded pea straw. Just a nice layer to insulate the soil so when we get the water into it, it'll keep itself together. Here we are. Now I put in a good watering can full of water. 
you can see that it's not dropping too quickly. And that's because we're trying to re sort of rehabilitate the soil that we have in here, reconstitute it with compost and other items. So we'll see, it's gonna take a little while. I'm gonna water this probably every two to three days just to keep the moisture level in that soil up and let that compost go to work. But as I said, for a wet crop, no problem at all. There you go. I hope you like that sort of simple idea. Repurpose the tray in a poly wheelbarrow. You could use a steel one if you wanted it, it'll rust out after a while, but who cares? Work out again. Now, I'm gonna do another one. I've got a friend who has another bucket like this or a tub from a poly wheelbarrow. That one's cracked. So I might just do a little bit of a, a video on that one to show you how you can repair those cracks a little bit, just with metal brackets, bolts, and get something going. So while I sit here smelling the absolutely incredible onion aroma of these crushed snowdrops, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching it. Hope it's given you some ideas and, you know, don't throw it away. Reuse it. Take care.